Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, and I got requested to do an updated, like, what's in my teacher closet, teacher, like, haul. So, this video is going to be really long. I don't know if I'm going to finish it all today. I might have to film this between different days. Um, just because I do have somewhere to be today, but I'm going to start it now and see how far I get. Um, this is all stuff I've compiled over the last four years and I'm almost done with student teaching. So I have collected a lot of things. Also, some of my stuff is at school with me, um, like my mini erasers, my answer buzzers, Certain stuff like that will not be featured in this video because it is at school with me. So, it's my little disclaimer and I'm going to get started. So, this is the view of my teacher closet. I also have these two 31 bags filled with things as well. So, I'm going to go through those probably last. These are all like easy reader books. They all just fit in this bin really nicely. So, I put them in there but... These are all just like books that kids could just grab um, and go. So I just have those in there. Um, I have my three like paper bins with my label maker and my Play-Doh and chalk. And then this is my teacher memory box. Okay, over here I have some stuff that I got. Recently, I got this Build-A-Garden from Goodwill for $2.99. All the pieces are in it. It was basically brand new, which is, like, super awesome. Then I have those containers that everyone gets from Michael's. This one broke. The handle, like, broke off. But in here... I keep all of my STEM materials, so I have these containers. So this one has dominoes in it. I only have one package of dominoes. Then I have these brain flakes from the Dollar Tree, and I think there's a couple with those in it. So there's one, two, Three, uh, three with the brain flakes. No, nope, four. Four with the brain flakes in it. Then I have like a whole bunch that have the Dollar Tree version of Legos in it. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Then I have the Target hashtag blocks. And those are in the rest of these. So I have bought a lot of STEM materials to do like soft starts um, in my classroom. So I will be utilizing those. I have this one and I don't really know what my plan is with this bin in particular. I just don't really know what I want to do with it. Um, right now it has a lot of literacy items in it. So I have uppercase letters for like bulletin boards. You could also do word centers with those. I have a word wall set. Um, most of the stuff's from Target. I have little quote bubbles. I have lowercase letters. Um, letters and numbers from Astro Brights. I have my alphabet cards with how to draw or write the alphabet. Idiom cards. I have these alphabet erasers you could use for a center. I have story dice, which is like one of my favorite literacy things to use. I have number erasers. 
and then I have room to grow because the rest of these don't have anything in them. Okay, so up here I just have like a file organizer um, that a teacher actually gave me. And here I have this like bin I got from the Dollar Tree and it literally has all of my stickers in it. Like I'm not even going to open it, but there are so many stickers in there. I'm my big cram buddy. He just kind of chills in here. I have this other file organizer that a teacher also gave me. I have my really pretty color table caddies. They're in my two favorite colors, so I just like had to get these from Target. Target takes most of my money all the time. I have a treasure chest that I actually found at the Dollar Tree. And I just have like a bunch of like birthday and extra like holiday stuff, prizes, stuff like that. I actually did utilize this treasure chest in the summer. Then in my rainbow cart, up here I have a lot of crafting things. And then I also have dry erase markers. I have my staple remover. This is just kind of a catch-all drawer, but I have like a lot of crafting things like googly eyes, jingle bells, I have glitter. Yeah. This is usually the drawer where all of my mini erasers are, but we've been playing a lot of math bingo games, so I only have my sweetheart ones in there. In here I keep a lot of math things. So I have my chalkboard clock in here. I have some spinners. These don't go in there. I have flashcards, like multiplication. I have subtraction, numbers. These are more seasonal erasers. So I have like Christmas ones and Easter ones. So obviously I don't use those unless it's that season. Um, I have these decimal squares. I got it at a teacher garage sale. I have eraser dice. I want more. They're on my Amazon wish list because I think they're really cool. I have some chalk for my chalkboard clock. And then these are actually chalkboard blocks. And these would be really good for like a math center. So I have those. And then I have buttons because I have used buttons as math manipulatives before. This is my fun drawer. Some of the stuff's not in here either because I have some games at school that I keep for the after school program but I have some puzzles in here I have dose a checker game tangrams and um a little light bright cube and here is my literacy stuff I have like sentence strips I have like the reading highlighters I have a slinky you can do a lot with segmentation with a slinky um, this is like a talking piece that I'm going to use for like literacy circles. These are make your own story dice. And then I have blank books and these could be used for phonics cards. And then I actually have some phonics flash cards. These are all die cuts. There's like hearts in here. I actually, I keep labels in here and name plates and... <laughs> Yeah, it's all die cut things. There's like apples in here. And then underneath it all, I have some rainbow paper and some posters that I made. This is another like craft drawer. I have a whole thing of Crayola Project paint. I have my Colors of the World crayons, my Colors of Kindness crayons. I have some like popsicle sticks in here. I have drawing chalk i have erasers in here stencils just a lot of different things that could be used in the classroom in here i have more popsicle sticks all of them i have a lot of hot glue just because i use a lot of hot glue for things and then i have paint and glitter glue this is more all paint just like yeah all of my construction paper, which I have organized by color, and it's very satisfying. So that's what's in the rainbow drawers. And then over here, I have my easel pad. I use these to make 
anchor charts. I have two of them. I have my dry erase like tent pocket with all the little inserts I used for summer school and a sketch pad. Before I get into this dresser, I'm gonna go over what's on top of it. So this is a box of like phonics games that I got from a teacher garage sale. I have magnetiles that I got off my Amazon wish list. This bit of letter game, my advent book advent calendar that's going to be Christmas gifts for my first class. And then I have pattern blocks. This is all like stationary. I just keep it in here. I have connect straws and connectors. I got a Goodwill brand new for $10. This drawer, this one just kind of has a bit, these are slime supplies, and then I also keep my, like, star student little certificates in here. And then in here, I have little mini dominoes, beads, a memory game, and some picture frames that could be used for projects. This is my custom-made felt board that my boyfriend made me. There's a pocket in the back to put all my stories in, and it's beautiful. He made it for me in the summer. I've used it a lot. Um, then I have this drawer, which is all, like, just classroom decor, really. But I have this sign that says, start every day with an attitude of gratitude. I have this sign that says, be fearless, be bold, be kind. My dot cam that I won is in here. I won that from a giveaway. I have some paper lanterns, some lemonade classroom transformation stuff, and then my little rainbow seats, my B classroom transformation. Things are in here. I have a ceramic pencil, my little rainbow pails, and more B classroom transformation stuff. And then I just have some containers this next drawer has a lot of stuff that can make curriculum fun i have a felt world map and then it just comes with like where everything goes and there's like little felt animals that you can put on it and then i also have a felt map of the united states and there's little felt pieces that go for like all the landmarks in the united states so those are cool. I have a basketball for Joy Factor. This is Bubble Science. I've used a couple times. I have some poppets for the calming corner that I'm going to have in my classroom. I have fun fingers for tracking your books and stuff. So I bought these like on sale after Halloween. I have a clapper. I have a bunch of little mini containers that you could use for various things. I have a puzzle of the world, some banners, a welcome banner. I have these really fun photo props for different times of the year. There's like a 100th day of school one and a first day of school one. I have some name plates, a map of the world and some stickers and then the rest of this stuff is stuff that um i have up for sale on my mercari because i am trying to declutter i have decluttered a couple of things this last drawer has a lot of things in it i have big foam dice and then i also have my many dry erase dice i have a dry erase light up speech bubble um i have this like Jumbo money math game. I have magnet letters and numbers. I have story starters for first through third grade. I have an inflatable globe. I have a world like ball. Um this is one of my felt stories that just doesn't fit it's the alphabet and then each letter has a symbol um these are little lip balms and i see a lot of people use lip balms as like scent 
um silly or smelly spots um before like kids take tests and stuff and that was definitely something that i want to utilize in my classroom so i got those crayola lip balms and then i have time practice and money practice i have some pointers and then i have all of my dry erase pockets from the summer i have this game called quicks it's a fast paced dice game i got that at goodwill up top this is where i house all my chapter books but then i have these abc cookies i have a big feelings pineapple i have my baby bear counters that tabitha got me thank you tabitha and then my links and my mr P my potato heads and then up there i have all my pillows and a rug for my classroom so all right i have this big 31 tote filled with stuff i have a bag of easter eggs because i'm going to be doing a i'm going to be with special ed by this time like the week before easter so i'm going to be doing a word sort with easter eggs it's going to be really fun um i have one of these like vintage view masters and then i also have a modern day one in here somewhere i'll find in a little bit but yeah so oh here it is so here's like a modern view master and then i have a vintage one and i just think it's cool these are really cool for kids to see like visuals and stuff and some of this stuff is younger still like i got rid of a lot of my younger stuff but i also kept some of it just in case I am in special ed. So I got phonics, like the little whisper phones. I have four of those and I got those at the Dollar Tree. I have puppets. I can't say bye to my puppets. My boyfriend got me these as a gift. So I kept those. They're the Melissa and Doug puppets. Um, I just have some containers for stuff. Um, I have this little, like, box and then these color your own ornaments and they're acorns and those are super cute. Someone gifted that to me. Um, I have the Melissa and Doug, like, brownie set. So, here's the brownies and then there's, like, the box of brownie mix that has all of the like tops to the brownies there's like a little knife and a little spatula in there too um i could use that for fractions and stuff i have like a cup stacker game in here then i have these little magnetic tins um that are fun would be fun for like early finishers and stuff they give them different tasks to do i got those at target i have spinners these would be more for like special ed but they're like matching the color to the objects plus i am also going to be a nanny for special ed kids so i thought keeping some of this stuff might help this one's like numbers so it's a spinner with numbers <laughs> I have this little minute to win it game with ping pong balls. Um, it could be like ping pong basketball. I have a little ring toss game that I got. Um, I want to do like minute to win it like Fridays in my classroom as like a incentive. Color your own puzzle. This could also be a behavior incentive. Um, I have this tokens of appreciation little box and you like can write, um, like little messages to the students. And I just thought this was so cute. Um, I have my little, uh, these are all the like wooden letter blocks and I know these are for like toddlers, but you can actually do so much with these in the classroom. So I kept those. I have my fishing game because you can do like phonics fishing or something. I thought this was still useful, so I kept it. I have my rainbow pocket chart. 
I have this other pocket chart. This one holds like file folders. So all these pocket charts. And then I have like a bunch of inserts. These are the ones that go with the rainbow. These ones are, yeah, those ones also go with the rainbow. And then I just have some extras. All of my bullets and board borders. And then I have little weather like cutouts and some posters so that's everything in that bag this bag is all books i bought recently and i am not going into that right now this is a little desk like tour so i have like one of these things that i just keep extra pens most of my pens are at school stapler cricket cutting mat yeah under my desk is really messy but i have like my lamin laminator and then like personal things so in these little cubbies in my living room i have this miss hider um light it lights up my uh one of the people i graduated with she has like her own business and she makes stuff like this so it lights up and it says miss hider with a rainbow and then i have my crayola build a bear that i named roy g biv and he was like the mascot for my classroom in the summer and then i have a bunch of these ceramic crayons that i bought on mercari they were from the target dollar spot but i missed out on them when they were there so i just i got them now <laughs> so now i'll take you into my bedroom closet and you can see the rest of the things that i have I have more books. I feel like books are just a never ending thing. These are all my book buddies in here. Um, I don't want to go through all of those, but I have some Squishmallows. I have some of the Close Cares ones in there. I also have book buddies at my mom's. So this is all my like spirit wear in here. I have like tutus and masks and hats and headbands so that lives in my closet and it's a fun time and then way back here is just this box it's actually one of those three tier rolling cards i won in a giveaway um from giving teachers when i won all that other stuff i got so yeah i just have a whole bunch of stuff that I won. And then this is my box of fun hats in here. All right, so I'm at my parents. I have a few things here that um, a teacher friend who retired gave to me. So I wanted to kind of go through that stuff and show you all of that. Most of it's books. But there's a few items. So she gave me this Life on Earth memory and matching game which won best toy award so i'm interested in seeing what this is like i might bring this with me to kids club tomorrow to see if the kids like it um then she gave me this thing of fun putty there's like glow in the dark transparent and marbleized this is good for like a calming corner. Um, they can just kind of feel it in their palms. I don't know what this is. I think these are oil pastels, but I'm not sure. She gave me like a whole bunch of like art supplies, like these. <sighs> um, these are acrylic paints she gave me um and then like a pumpkin carving tool and then she gave me two sizes of cowbells for like attention getters some erasers there's a bunch of these some highlighters that are in some really pretty colors so I actually do really like these she gave me like a whole bunch of canvases 
And I actually did use some of them for a couple of gifts for people. Um, but yeah, like she gave me all this great art stuff and I am like so grateful for it. And then I'll just go through, like, and show you some of the books. There's, like, the animals. This is a Shel Silverstein book. There's some Christmas books in here. Some nonfiction books. Um, in here, there's, like, a whole bunch of these, like, why, why, why books that are nonfiction. A lot of like Winnie the Pooh themed books. Charlie Brown. This is like a scratch and sketch book. Um, and yeah, so there's just like a bunch of really awesome books and things that this teacher gave me. And then there's like also some Clifford and little critters so yeah that is all the stuff that my teacher friend who retired gave me this bin is all stuff i got from a lady <sighs> um for my graduation party with these lanterns but we might not use these but they'd still be cool for like um something in the classroom i got two of these little like pen holders I got an apple one, two crayons, and then there's some chalkboards. So, those are some things for my grand party. And that's pretty much everything that I have at my mom's. I do have like some book buddies that are like Disney themed, but they're all like all over the place. So, <laughs> I will show those at a different time, probably way later. Yeah, that is all of it. Um, so I didn't have to break this into parts. I decluttered a lot of things actually, so that might be why. I got rid of a bunch of my like preschool age stuff because I definitely don't want to teach preschool. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for a new week in my life vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful. Bye.